Today I'm replacing the serpentine belt on my 2005 Jeep Liberty. It's a 3.7 liter V6 and the only thing I'm going to need to do that is a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet and of course I already bought a new belt. This is pretty easy to do. Nothing to unscrew, nothing to unbolt. The hardest thing really is getting the new belt routed back on there. You should have a routing diagram on your vehicle and if you can see right here the little arrow that's the pulley that's where you put the ratchet and the socket on and pull it and that relieves the tension on the belt so you can take it off and put the new one back on okay so here's the pulley I want to break loose here just put the ratchet on it pull this pulley back towards the driver's side it'll loosen the tension on the belt and you can pop it off here's my old belt as you can see it's got some cracks and dry rod in it time to replace it I also think it's a good idea to take your new belt, hold it up with the other belt and make sure they're the same size, make sure they're going to fit. I'm not sure how it's showing up on camera, but looks like it's good. So now I'm going to put the new belt on. Alright, so the new belt is on there. Last little bit of advice when you're putting it on there is make sure it's all the way on there. There's little grooves in each one of these and you want to make sure that's on there and not just hanging over the edge a little bit. This middle wheel here doesn't have any grooves. It goes on the back of the belt so you want to make sure that's pushed back as well. Other than that, it is done. It took me about 10-15 minutes to do. I bought the new belt for 30 bucks. I'm not sure what garage is charged to do it, but I would think this is something most people can do themselves takes a little bit of strength to move that pulley, I will say that. But uh, other than that, it's not too bad of a project. Hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helps you, and thanks for watching.